I know you want to talk about Italy, but let's just have a word on Switzerland. And bear in mind, let's think positively about yes, England yes, yes, getting yes. through this Slovakia game. And again, it's not because we're being arrogant. I'm just saying let's think positively. How testing a side are Switzerland proving to be? Yeah, they do three at the back really well. Mm. Akanji in the middle of them, Shah one side. Um, Anderson, isn't it? The other one. Um, I think the third one. Yeah, anyway. Uh, Rodriguez. Rod- Rod- Rodriguez. Well, he was on the, he's on the left side, isn't yes, he? Yes, that's right. Um, Rodriguez. Um, pace up front, Mbolo down mm-hmm. the middle. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, just a real solid middle of the park, Frula and Xhaka. Um, I mean, Xhaka looks yeah, brilliant. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I know I'm going to talk about Italy, but I thought they always offered a threat. Yeah. Tried to turn Italy a lot. And we're very comfortable. And do you know what? They were inviting Italy to come on to them, saying, come on then. See, we, they knew Italy weren't very good. Mm, they were saying, mm. you're not going to break us down. You're mm, not. Mm. Just, but we'll, we'll sit deep off you and we'll wait and we'll pick you off when we need to. Mm. And they did that really well. Kanji was superb. He was best player on the pitch. Um, you mentioned yesterday when we talked about this game that Italy had no threat really going forward. And mm. in fact, if you look at the stats... They didn't even manage a shot on target until the 73rd minute, by which time they were already 2 0 down. Oh, come on, then. What have you got to say about Italy? Um, worst team in the tournament. Worst team? Worst team. They shouldn't have got to. They got to I, I mentioned the goal earlier that mm. they got was a great goal. Um, they're the worst team in the tournament. I'm so Ooh, disappointed cool. in Italy. They, do you know what? They offered nothing. Skamaka up down the middle, I hardly noticed he was in the game. Apart from Chiesa, who offered down the right side a threat, that was it. I think Barella is a, a player that you know can certainly cause problems. Italy had no pace in their team at all. And it started me, made me think, and I was thinking about, do you know what? Italy have never had a lightning forward. They've mm. had, you know, like quite sharp forwards. You know, they've had people like Zola, they've had Scalacci, you know, Rossi, you know, going back to a long time, Baggio. They've never had a lightning forward. And they they stunk the house out last night. I thought they were awful. I really did against the Swiss. And the Swiss, I think the Swiss knew that this wasn't a very good team. Mm. They just knew. They go, they, they're not going to hurt us at all. And I was just amazed how poor Italy never had any pace in their team in any position. I just think it was a really poor performance. Yeah, and I mean, I mentioned that shot on target in the 73rd minute. That was their only shot on target. And like you said, Cass, yesterday, you were concerned about the offensive options that they had because they haven't really done anything no. in this tournament. Well, I'm, I'm looking at the manager and I'm seeing him do the national anthem before the game and he's going, you know, sings it really loud and he's, yeah. you know, over the top at the end. And yeah. I'm thinking that's a complete opposite to how your team play because yes. that team lacked energy. I mean, to say England have been poor... Italy have been 10 times worse than, than... I've not been impressed. In, I thought they were awful against Spain. And yes, Spain are a very good team. But then Italy are not. That side is one of the worst Italian teams I've ever seen. Wow. And they've got... I, I like Chiesa. I think he's been blighted by injuries, but he's always trying to do something. I like Barella in midfield. After that, I'm scratching my head. I really am about the Italian team. It's not a good side. They deserve to go home. And uh, they're a poor reflection of what Italian football's been over the years. I mean, you only have to consider that they missed out on Qatar 2022 when obviously missing out through for, through qualifying, but they played Switzerland in qualifying, had two draws in, yeah. that, uh, in that qualifying campaign. And apart from Euro 2020, when they won it, they have been a bit of a disappointment in recent major tournaments. Yeah, they look like a team that the best they can get. Not is even a draw. getting to major tournaments. Yeah. I mean, was it two World Cups in a row that they missed yeah, out? Yeah, they've. I mean, look, Italian football's really suffered, and it suffered in their club football in the nineties. And yes, they had the most money to make the Italian league the strong as it can, and they could, you know, obviously pay players to come way more than any other league. Um, but the downfall of Italian football, that Italian side, and yes, they're the reigning European champions. Oh, wow, they were just awful, I thought, last night. Maybe people could tell me different, but honestly, Italian football is absolutely on the floor. Well, they if, are the worst team in this tournament I, for me. I mean, that is quite a cool... Even though they got through. I was going to say, considering they, they reached the knockouts, that's quite a call to, to make. But They were on the I verge of literally a minute from going out. This, absolutely. I, I think I'm right in saying that Spalletti's contracted until the World Cup, possibly, 2026, I think. 
I mean, you can't imagine he'll well, stay, will he? Well, the only thing you can hope is... No, like we talked about, me and you did a show in, in Qatar when we talked about Spain and I hammered yeah, Spain yeah. for what I saw. And I said, Spain have got to rethink about the way they play football because Spanish football had gone sideways and backwards mm. when they'd had some great teams. Mm. Italian Federation has to rethink the way they're, they're going to try and find the players to be the, a, a team again because they were awful. Just yeah. uh, There's nothing positive to say about the Italian team last night. No. Um, and obviously you're right with the, the Spanish Federation because they did make a change. Luis Enrique left and now Luis de la Fuente is in charge. And, and it's different. what a different Spain uh, well, we're it's, seeing. It's how Spanish teams should play. Yeah. yeah. Look, I understand Italian football has always been known to be pra pragmatic and they were always one of the best defensive teams. I understand all that. But if the game and the laws are making it way more advantageous to win is to be aggressive in the way you play, Italian football needs to think about how it's using its players in, in an international side now. Mm, OK, so Italy, the holders are out. Switzerland are through. To Can I do my time. Swiss joke? I can't believe you didn't start with it. No, well, Bra I'll start with it. Brace yourself, the Swiss, everyone, the Swiss. it's a classic. Well, look, the country is in Switzerland. So they, they've got the French to the left of them. They've got the Germans on top. They got the Austrians to the right and the Italians down below. <laughs> I can see Will, our producer, thinking, "What?" <laughs> it's quite fun, you know. Oh, that dear. joke, that joke, come from France when oh, I was did living it? in France. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, Lost in translation, then, is what you're saying. Well, <laughs> is it? Is it not very funny? I thought it was quite funny. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Uh, I think the better one is. He doesn't get it. Uh, well, well. It, Oh, I mean, Italy. Is no, I mean, it's uh, no, none of them. They're all shaking their head in there. They're like, no. Do you get it? Well, I'm assuming you mean because I mean, Italy are being dumped out. They're below them. No. Oh, okay. Well, what do you mean then? Well, I, well, I don't need to explain it. Make, move on, I think. Oh, <laughs> does anybody else get that then? I was, I thought you were just, I don't know. <laughs> well, go on. I'll explain your affair. Oh, well, that's not fair for our listeners. Nobody get. Does anybody get it? Anybody? <laughs> They got the French to the left, the Germans on top, the Austrians to the right, and the Italians down below. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What we do no. know is the flag is a big plus. There we go. <laughs> I've said it. That's what Will wanted me to say, and I've said it. We will move on. Coming up, we're going to hear uh, the latest uh, from the French camp ahead of uh, their last 16 clash, and we will continue. Well, I say continue. We will look ahead to England taking on Slovakia in the last 16 later today. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.